Welcome back to the Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Habakkuk chapter 2, where God answered Habakkuk's question, Why are the wicked used to punish the more righteous? Habakkuk asked God how he could use wicked people in Babylon to bring about his plan and judge the more righteous people in Judah. And God gave his answer. First off, God reminded Habakkuk of something. He said, just a few minutes ago, weren't you complaining that I was letting sin and rebellion against God go unpunished in Judah? Did you not realize that you just said sin and rebellion against God? Don't you realize that there are no people groups that are good? Not even one. Everyone is sinful and wicked, so how could you say that one wicked people group is more righteous than another wicked people group? That makes no sense. You say that there are varying degrees of sin. I do not. God then told Habakkuk that the Chaldeans, sometimes referred to as the Babylonians, were going to come and destroy Judah. But rest assured, he was going to preserve a righteous remnant in Judah. These people would be protected by God because they put their trust in him and depended on him. These people are not considered righteous because of anything that they have done, but because they trusted in the Lord and they placed their faith in Him. But there were bigger things at stake than just surviving an earthly existence. God was going to protect the righteous from the day of trouble well after they left this world and went on to the next, where each individual soul would be judged for everything they have done on the real day of trouble called Judgment Day. That was the real protection they were needing. One of the most famous verses in the Bible is located in this chapter of Habakkuk. New Testament writers used it in their writings. It can be found in Galatians, Romans, and Hebrews. And it says, The just shall live by faith. Faith is now and has always been the way someone is made right with God and how they could have peace with God. The righteous people who had faith would be protected from the wicked invading army that God was bringing in to judge the land. God then told Habakkuk not to worry or concern himself with other people's judgment, but let it be known that he was going to indeed judge the Babylonian army too. He was going to entice them to invade Judah, and his purposes would be accomplished there. They would plunder, install tyranny, worship idols, then be destroyed themselves in proper time. God was going to entice some other country to wipe out Babylon, and his purposes would be accomplished there. And then that country would be judged, and on down the line. God turns wickedness and sin upside down. He brings about good through things that were meant for evil. God loves to do ironic things like this all through the ages. The most important verse in this chapter is Habakkuk 2, 4, which states, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that all people are sinful and wicked, but He forgives those who trust in Him and live by faith. God loves irony and loves to turn sin and wickedness on its head. He loves to use the worst kind of evil to bring about the most good. The one biggest example is that God used the worst sin of mankind, the killing of the Son of God, to bring about the greatest good the resurrection and salvation of millions of people. We're all wicked and sinful people, but we can still be saved. You can be saved today. The just shall live by faith. Surrender your soul to God today. He's pleading with you to turn from your sin and be saved. Repent for your sin and place your faith in Jesus. He humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. The Father raised Jesus from the dead. The Lord said that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, and if we believe in our heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, we would be saved. Put your trust in Him today.
Thanks for watching the Habakkuk chapter 2 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos too. See you next time.